All right, same day, different video, different beer. This one's in the loop. Loop spelt like lupulin, which is kind of like hop dust, hop powder, hop crystals. Uh, it's IPA from a local brewery, Bale Breaker. They're kind of like our big dog in the uh, region. They got Yakima Chief hops right there. Little description, fresh off the farm in the Yakima Valley. So they use featured hops that are Laurel, Atanum, and Talus, which is an experimental HBC 692. Let's go ahead and crack this open. Got our fucking glass here. We'll just go ahead and get to get a look at the color on this bad boy. We're gonna be doing a mail call video. I've been uh, saving up a few mail calls so we can kind of do this all in one big uh, one big opening. Figured I'd do the uh, CDB, have a beer and a mail call. It's got a nice color to it. You can see it's not a hazy, but it has a nice like amber copper color to it. It's kind of piney, kind of spicy. I know a tannum uh, hops are kind of in that realm. I think laurel gives off a more floral um, taste, if I remember correctly, or maybe it's the aroma. Yeah. It's nice. It's more in like the uh, West Coast IPA realm. All right, so let's get this first one out of the way. We got... AP Shave Co. right there. We're going to be using our uh, good old Benchmade right here <clears throat> to do the uh, unboxing cuttings. We're going to attempt not to do the uh, Knabler Shave 326 uh, finger cutting. <laughs> CDB said that was bad form, so we're going to attempt not to do that. <laughs> Let's see what we got in here. Let's go ahead and throw that down. We got some paper here. Thermal, thermal Direct Label Printer. Oh, I guess that's nothing special. Just a receipt there. And you can see, let's see how I can go about this. I'll go ahead and fold that back. There we go. How about that? 26 millimeter cashmere fan synthetic and a 26 millimeter jealousy super high density bulb badger knot. And it just says enjoy Derek uh, and some more additional information. So you can see here we got this bubble wrap and a little bit of uh, it looks like masking tape. Let's see if I can just rip this open. The bubble wrap looks like it's pretty much fitted to the size of the knots, so that's good. This one is uh, denoted gel, so I'm assuming that's uh, the badger knot. And it just pops right out of there like that. Get a look at this bad boy. You can see it's kind of boxy from the uh, packaging. But I'm sure it'll make a nice uh, bulb shape. You can kind of see there. It's got a nice uh, like three band look to it. You can see the... Uh, it looks like a really nice uh, setting job. The hairs were set. Um, I know it's dry and it's probably dirty. But it feels soft. Feels really soft to the touch right out the gate. I'm liking it. I'm liking the look. I'm liking the uh, the feel. So this one here is supposed or is intended to go in my um, Alpha Outlaw handle in red. How does that look, guys? I just dry fit it. I'm happy to say that it does fit at least. How does that look to y'all? Does that look good to y'all? I think it looks pretty good. 
that's where I, that's what I'm intending to put it in. And it looks like we got a nice fit, not a whole lot of extra room, which is a good thing in my opinion. I think it looks pretty good. So that's number one. That's a little uh, a little look into the future there. I'll go ahead and package it back up since I will be sending it out soon. <clears throat> and I'll put that aside. Let's take a look at this. Uh, it says cash on the outside, probably for a cashmere. Let's go ahead and open this, open this up and take a look at this one. All right. So same thing. Nice little pour on the bottom. This one looks to be uh, just a little bit thinner than the Badger, as far as like the size of the pour. I don't think that'll make much uh, much problem there. It looks uh, very dense. Looks very dense. Um, looks you know quite quite tall, quite large. Very very velvety soft. I don't have a I don't have a handle intended for this one just yet. But uh, we will have to figure something out for that soon. So that was the Cashmere Knot 26 millimeter. It looked fucking huge for 26 millimeters. I will say that. Let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> attempt to cover up the address. I really don't give a fuck. If you see it, you see it. But storybook, soap works. My mama says, because <laughs> she, uh, she watches the videos. She goes, I don't like it when you show your address. <laughs> Like, well, it's already out there. It's too fucking late now. But uh, in an attempt to not show it, I'll try to cover it up with my hand. I really don't give a fuck. <clears throat> we'll attempt not to cut ourselves as we open this. I was uh, very disappointed to hear that Storybook Soap Works was going to be kind of calling it quits. Day-to-day -day life is uh, too demanding. And this was a hobby on the side, so I guess that it is what it is, you know? Not everybody has time to be a soap maker on the side, you know? So, it is what it is. It's a bummer, but it is what it is. I just opened this, and I am thrilled with what I find. Thrilled. So, the way they went about this, Storybook Soap Works was they were offering $8 mystery products. You don't know what you're gonna get, but for $8, you're gonna get a Storybook Soapworks product. And um, I'm thrilled. So I contacted Storybook Soapworks and asked them, do you have any more hook? You know, do you have any more of your hook scent, soap, aftershave, whatever? I'm interested. They said no, uh, unfortunately, all they had was aftershave, no soap. And it was kind of a bummer because Lather Me Whiskers, Paul, our pirate buddy, he let me borrow Hook and I really enjoyed the scent, so it was a bummer. So, um, a day went by and Storybook Soapworks contacted me and they said, hey, I found some bulk Hook soap and I could just cut you out some and send it to you. And so I was like, yes, um, just tell me what I need to do, where do I pay you? And he said, just buy two mystery products. I'll send you a soap and an aftershave. So I got on there and I bought four mystery products. And um, I was expecting the hook, soap, and aftershave. So this is what I got. I got hook, soap, and aftershave. Nice to see that. Let's, see, let's just cut this open. You can see it's a very rough pour because it probably wasn't a pour. Um, and it's pretty fucking full as well. Very fragrant though. Very fragrant. I'm liking that. Um, it probably, it looks so rough because it probably wasn't a pour. It was bulk soap that was smashed into a tub, you know. He also included a, an extra label, which is nice. I might have to fucking, uh, put that up there. By my, uh, Delmar Boulevard and my, uh, Lather Talk sticker. All right, so I'll put that aside, and then look at what else. Look at my uh, two other mystery products right here. Right there, baby. APR, Storybook, Soapworks, Collaboration, uh, Carnival. So Storybook, Soapworks did the soap base. 
<laughs> That's some good shit, man. And uh, APR did the scent. Uh, I actually got to experience this one because of Mary and the Barbarian. He sent it along. I was a huge fan of this. I was hoping to pick up a scent of this, but I did not mention it to um, Storybook Soapworks. They just sent it along, and I don't know if that was... Um, I don't know if that was by coincidence or on purpose, but they fucking nailed what I was hoping to get. I was hoping to get this or that Visions and Revisions scent. That's the only one that I kind of wish I would have picked up. Oh, fuck. This is good. Perfect autumn, um, fall time scent. Kind of like dried fruits. It's warm. It's, um, it kind of gives you that holiday, that holiday feeling. So it's going to be perfect for the upcoming months thrilled that they sent um two soaps because that means i can do a giveaway um with that extra fucking thrilled all right what else do we got here <clears throat> let's go ahead and open this bad boy amazon this one i don't think i need the knife it has a little tear here well tear there get this packaging out of the way so this one is Grind Refle Reflex Red Mill. Never heard of that shaving company? <laughs> it's because it's not a shaving company. Let's go ahead and uh, crack this open here. Little plastic packaging. We'll go ahead and uh, put that down. It just says thank you for your purchase. What the fuck is that supposed to be? This is actually a uh, salt and pepper grinder. It's a push grinder. And what else came in this package? Some fucking menthol crystals. So this is gonna be my chill mill. Um, got the idea from PAA. So um, Doug and Fran from PAA, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, they offer the chill mill. Uh, I think the artwork is crap. <laughs> and the uh it looks like a very cheap salt and pepper shaker that they put some menthol crystals in i think it's good shave geekery uh, i love the gadgetry that they came up with like a menthol grinder i just didn't like their delivery of the product so i stole their idea and have a nice fancy piece of uh shave gear on my den and this is actually pretty small so it's not going to take up a lot of space in the den. Very nice. So I look forward to using this. This is going to be my chill mill. Um, oh man, I, I look forward to using this. I hope there are no hiccups in the way that it works. I hope it just works. You know what I mean? Also in from Amazon, some Annie hair shaper blades. Never seen anybody use these. Premium quality stainless blades. I was just doing, I was trying to buy some hair shaper blades for my WEC. And um, I just typed in hair shaper blades, uh, you know, a few different options came up. That was one of them, so I bought those. I bought some others, but they haven't came in yet. So it is what it is. We'll be giving those a shot in the WEC. And uh, if anything else, I could give my impressions on it and maybe pass it on to you fellas. And if you like it or if you're interested, you can uh, check them out yourself. All right. See what else we got here. Heritage Collection Shaving. Let's go ahead and try to cut this open without cutting ourselves open. <clears throat> the Benchmade usually does a pretty damn good job. I think people uh, kind of crap on Benchmade. I'm not exactly sure why, because I'm not like a huge knife guy, but um, I like the, you know, free lifetime factory sharpening service that they do. You just got to kind of pay for shipping. They'll, they'll sharpen it for you. Open this up here. We got uh, some green frills, and we'll see what we got underneath from Heritage Collection. What in the motherfuck is this? 
So there's this little thing of uh, of pops there. There's these green frills. Let me kind of move them to the side so we can see what else I'm seeing here. Looks like I'm seeing like fucking fingernails. Um, fingernails. Let me just uh. Let me just pour these out into my hand so we can get a better look at these. There's about that many. I don't know how I could do this. They look like fingernails. And they actually look like they have uh, been used. Kind of gross. see if we can get it in there you can see some of that detail they maybe they kind of look like maybe women's fingernails like fake fake fingernails that have been kind of ripped off here's a here's a juicy one I don't know Neil you want to clue me in to what's going on here this was sent by Neil of Heritage Collection Shaving. What I assume to be a very good guy. I have no idea what the fuck this is about, to be honest. They're like fingernail clippings, like, they look used. Like, used fingernail clippings. It's kind of hard to get it in frame with my lighting. But you can see there's kind of like scum on the edges. I don't know. There's about uh, at least like one and a half hands full. I don't know. There's no note, no note in here. So absolutely no idea what that's about. <laughs> very, very strange. But uh, we're just we're fucking showing it as we are getting it. You know what I mean? So uh, now we got this here. This is what I ordered. <laughs> I didn't order used fingernails. This is what I ordered. This is the uh, Heritage Collecting Heritage Collection Gel Bore. Um, this thing looks fucking tall as all get out. Huge, <laughs> huge, huge. Uh, I could kind of see some curled tips, very hooked, hooked tips. It's all kind of this blonde, uh, blonde bore look to it. And this one is intended for the moon soaps brush so that's what i want to go in there right there so what do you guys think about that how does that look it does look uh it fits it's gonna be quite tall though from the looks of it quite tall i don't know maybe it can be uh Maybe it can be expanded just a hair, but that's that. It also has a pretty good looking, uh, pretty good looking set of glue on the bottom, epoxy. Looks solid, looks solid. Um, but very tall, man. Like, taller than the handle, pretty much. Or as tall as the handle. Crazy. I think it looks good, though. I think it looks really good. So that is intended for that handle. So those are my my mail calls for today. I'm looking forward to like putting all of them to use. Super thrilled about um, having the knots in for my uh, my handles up there. Super thrilled about getting some Storybook Soapworks hook and two Carnival sets. So that gives me some giveaway material, and then thrilled to have uh, my own version of the chill mill very cool stuff so that was my unboxing and uh, looks like we unboxed a little bit of a mystery the mystery of the heritage collection shaving used fingernail <laughs> debacle nope <laughs> I don't know I I'll have to ask Neil what the fuck that's all about. Um, 
No harm, no foul though. The the knot looks like it made it in good condition. But definitely like an eyebrow razor there. I have no idea what the fuck that's about. Strange. Speechless. Anyhow. Cheers, guys. That was my mail call unboxing with a beer. CDB style. And uh, I hope you guys have a good Labor Day. We're having like a fucking storm, but it's all right. We're just having kind of a lazy day staying in. Anyhow, catch you guys later. Hope you have a good Labor Day. Hope you enjoyed the mail call. Let me know if you got some new shit. Um new mail calls let me know anything that you're excited about coming in and uh, i'll catch you guys on the next one all right cheers